The episode opens. Five years ago, Four Arms was battling a red galvanic mechamorph called Malware. Malware takes hold of the Outnitrix and forces it to time out, giving Four Arms the upper hand. But Four Arms then turns back to Ben. Malware approaches Ben and makes fun of his failure, which gives the Outnitrix plenty of time to reactivate. Ben morphs into Feedback, using his energy-absorbing and redirecting abilities to easily beat Malware. Feedback celebrates by leaping and pretending to play basketball. The Omnitrix expires, forcing Feedback to revert back into Ben and forcefully tumble on the ground. Ben jumps up from the ground and tells the fleeing Malware that he should escape. Today, 16-year-old Ben is after Zombozo, who stole a brain from Bellwood's brain bank, along with Gwen and Kevin. Following many Zombozo escapes, Ben transforms into Lodestar, and using his magnetic abilities, tosses steel Kevin in his direction before magnetically extracting Zombozo's brain casing. After Zombozo has been apprehended, Gwen and Kevin announce their departure from Bellwood. Gwen is skipping three grades of high school and heading straight to college. Ben is startled to find that Kevin has secured job near Gwen's university and will not be returning. Ben, realizing he will be alone, says an emotional farewell to Kevin and Gwen. As they depart, Zombozo proceeds to insult Ben, stating that he would never have caught him without his buddy's assistance. Ben furiously argues that he is a superhero who does not need assistance to complete his mission. He departs to get something to eat. Ben drives by Mr. Smoothie, since it wouldn't be the same, and instead goes to Max's plumbing. Ben descends into the plumber's base under Bellwood via a concealed passage in the store's restroom. Ben encounters Max, who wants to tell him something essential. Before he can, an alarm sounds, and Ben rushes out to investigate the situation. When he arrives, he is startled to discover half of a structure gone, leaving a massive hole. Kyber watches from the shadows, attaching the Nematrix to his pet, and let it to run into the crater. Kyber whistles, and his pet changes into Crapdozer, heading for Ben. Ben attempts to shift into Humongousaur, but instead becomes Spider Monkey. Spider Monkey attempts to fight, but he is no match for Crabdozer's might. Just as Crabdozer is ready to finish Spider Monkey, Kyber whistles again and summons it. As Spider Monkey returns to his regular shape, an extraterrestrial called Pacmar emerges from a neighboring toilet where he had been hiding. Pacmar explains that this was his establishment, a toilet emporium. Unfortunately, he encountered a bunch of extraterrestrial criminals. The outlaws compel all of Bellwood's alien stores to pay Tade Knight for protection. If the store owners refuse, the criminals will damage their establishments. With this knowledge, Ben heads to Mr. Bauman's alien food shop. He asks whether he has received any requests from the extraterrestrial criminals. Mr. Bauman first denies having any meetings with them, but later confesses to it. At first, he does not want Ben to intervene, but Ben persuades him to let him watch discreetly. In order to camouflage himself, he transforms into Cannon Bolt, which quickly draws attention. After accidentally causing some damage, he retires to the store's snack bar. Cannon Bolt asks the client next to him if he may eat his dinner, remembering how hungry he is. He's ready to start eating when the three extraterrestrial criminals show him. Bubble Helmet, Liam, and Festina, the extraterrestrial criminals, have come with their explosive. In an attempt to get them to go, Mr. Bauman pays them Tate Knight immediately, but Cannon Bolt stops him. Even though Bubble Helmet and Mr. Bauman attempt to dissuade him from getting involved, Cannon Bolt continues to face the offenders. When Bubble Helmet launches an attack, the Cannon Bolt charges into the fray. Mr. Bauman, hiding behind his counter, tells Ben that he usually damages the business and that he doesn't approve of lasers. The alien who is seated next Cannon Bolt is still eating his food with composure while the other customers rush out of the establishment. After setting off the explosives, Bubble Helmet tells his companions to flee. Cannon Bolt eventually fails in his attempt to break the force field around the explosives because the Omnitrix times out. The alien behind the counter reveals himself as Mr. Bauman asks Ben when his companions would arrive to rescue the day. The extraterrestrial vanquishes the bandits with the help of his proto-tool and quick maneuvers. He introduces himself to Ben as Ben's new colleague and the plumber that Max dispatched, Rook. Ben tries to inform Rook that he now works alone since he is upset over the news. Insisting that he is his partner, Rook expresses his honor at meeting Ben. Ben finds this interesting, but he still won't consider Rook a partner. But because of what's going on around them, Rook and Ben work together to defuse the device and apprehend the fleeing perpetrators. Ben changes into a new alien called Blocks and hurries to stop the device, while Rook pursues the crooks. Blocks and Rook trade positions since the force field prevents him from affecting the bomb. 
Blox covers the criminals with a dome he constructs while Rook assesses the explosives. Rook claims that he will be unable to penetrate the force field in time and must remove the bomb from the already crowded region. He summons Blox over to assist him take the bomb outside after blasting a hole in the wall with his proto-tool. After examining a neighboring abandoned building for sentient life, Rook concludes that there is no one for the bomb to harm, and Blox tries to toss it inside. As he is ready to leave, the alien criminals rush outside and destroy Blox's arms. Blox attempts to grab it, but the bomb goes through him and falls back down. With little time remaining, Blox transforms himself into a catapult underneath the bomb and throws it into the vacant building. The bomb explodes, shattering the structure and creating a big crater. The hole has revealed a concealed tunnel, which the three crooks rush into. Blox returns to his regular state once the Omnitrix runs out of power. Ben and Rook pursue them and emerge from the tunnel into a hidden subterranean alien metropolis known as Undertown. Ben is taken aback by this finding, but he recalls his objective as he pursues the culprits with Rook. Above ground, Kyber once again connects the Nematrix to his dog. He tells it to show no compassion and unleashes it after Ben, who rushes into the tunnel. The alien criminals are running over Undertown's rooftops, and Ben and Rook are after them. Ben is surprised that Undertown exists, and he reminds Rook that they are not partners. The two broke up, with Rook pursuing Festina and Ben chasing Liam. When the five go to a transit tunnel, Ben attempts to change into XLR-8, but he ends up changing into NRG. Rook approaches as NRG spits on the ground. After using his proto-tool to blast Liam, Rook catches him in a net. NRG approaches Liam, who states that there is something behind them. Rook mocks him, but a light warns him and NRG that a bus is approaching. The couple pushes Liam out of the path and is struck by the bus, which disables its brakes. They attempt to delay it and emerge in Undertown. The passengers evacuate the bus, which drives away despite having no brakes. NRG changes back into Ben and goes to have a peek around Undertown. Meanwhile, back in the tube, Kyber summons his pet and collects NRG's spit. He notices the ruined track and sends his pet to Ben. Kyber's pet morphs into a bug lizard and dashes out to locate Ben. Ben investigates Undertown, while Rook believes they should be after the gang. Ben attempts to purchase food, but Rook scares away the tentacle seller by flashing his badge and interrogating him. As they travel, Rook informs Ben that on his homeworld, he trained to combat alien vermin to defend wheat, and he is eager to continue the inquiry. While Rook questions aliens and Ben looks for food, Ben issues a warning that the big evil will eventually send the lowlifes after him. In the marketplace, Bug Lizard suddenly materializes, terrifying the locals. Ben tries to change into Humungusaur to attack the beast, but he becomes Water Hazard instead, and Bug Lizard pushes him away and roars. Bug Lizard and Water Hazard battle as Kyber observes. Water Hazard keeps Rook from fighting, but he reconsiders his choice once Bug Lizard pins him down. Rook points his proto-tool toward Bug Lizard, firing a net that seals his mouth. Water Hazard pushes the monster away, but Bug Lizard escapes and attacks Water Hazard and Rook. Kyber, Noticing that Rook has entered the conflict, whistles to summon Bug Lizard, and then departs. Water Hazard changes back into Ben and claims that the Big Terrible must have dispatched Bug Lizard, while Rook reveals that his research uncovered a pub that Bubble Helmet frequents and should be there right now. They visit a pub packed with toxic gas. Rook puts on a gas mask and urges the aliens to raise their appendages. Ben morphs into Terraspin, instructing Rook to put down the badge. Terra Spin removes the gas, forcing the aliens to cough and wheeze. Rook notices Bubble Helmet, and Terra Spin removes his helmet and hands it to him. Bubble Helmet claims he'll speak once he can breathe, so Rook hands him his helmet, much to Terra Spin's chagrin. Bubble Helmet flies away, and Terra Spin and Rook follow. Rook claims that Bubble Helmet will take them to the Big Evil. Meanwhile, an extraterrestrial gang is constructing several shakedown devices. The Big Villain and his right-hand man, Tummy Head, are in charge of this. The Big Evil claims that the purpose of the shakedowns is to make Undertown fear him. Terraspin, Rook, and the Bubble Helmet come. The gang points their guns at them and raises their hands as Terraspin changes back into Ben. The big villain appears and exposes himself as Siphon. Rook is pleased that his inquiry brought them here, and Ben looks at Siphon furiously. Siphon surprises Ben, who thinks he's still Vilgax's helpless servant. That will soon change, Siphon declares, adding that he intends to expand the protective ring he has been operating to the human enterprises on the surface. Since they do not have the Tade Knight to pay him, 
This will unavoidably lead to hundreds of bombs going off in Bellwood. After giving Bubble Helmet a shot for guiding Ben to him, Siphon gives the order for his goons to assault Rook and Ben. After they assault, Ben and Rook divide up to take down the criminals. Ben fights the extraterrestrial criminals as Armadrillo. Armadrillo blows up shakedown machines as Rook fires at invaders. Armadrillo urges Rook not to push it when he can't think of a wisecrack, which deflates him. Then, using a shakedown device, Siphon forces Armadrillo into Undertown where he is attacked. Siphon shoots a beam at Armadrillo with a tiny wrist-mounted laser, causing his arm to expand and become mad. According to Siphon, he activated Armadrillo's neurological system. As he watches, Kyber commands Bug Lizard to put a stop to the fight so that he may rescue Ben. After electrocuting him with a fuse box, Armadrillo changes back into Ben as the effects wear off. Then Siphon, terrified, runs out of the marketplace as Bug Lizard enters. Then Rook shows up and starts pursuing Siphon. As Siphon and Rook engage in combat, Siphon becomes hungry for Rook's prototech armor. Ben changes into Shock Squatch and battles Bug Lizard. After a fight with Bug Lizard, Shock Squatch falls into the tunnels. Siphon cuts a wooden building with his laser while he shoots it at Rook in the meantime. As it falls on Siphon, Rook sidesteps it and gives a witty comment. Bug Lizard is ran over by the unbraked bus, but he gets back up. Above, Shock Squatch ascends a ladder, followed by Bug Lizard. He defeats Bug Lizard by blasting him with lightning. After Shock Squatch changes back into Ben, Rook shows up carrying Siphon and informs Ben that he made a joke. Bug Lizard flees amid a gas cloud. Meanwhile, Bug Lizard has made a comeback and changes back into Kyber's dog aboard his ship. The ship is brimming with mementos from Kyber's previous victories. Ben would be their finest prize of all, Kyber informs him, adding that he did well. Siphon and his gang are taken into jail by Max and Magister Patelide and his group of plumbers when they return to Bellwood. Siphon claims he has no knowledge what Bug Lizard is. Ben was ready to be a mentor, Max says, which is why he matched him with Rook. Nevertheless, he is free to choose not to have a partner. As the episode comes to the end, Ben embraces Rook as his partner after Rook brings chili fries for them to consume.